Peter, it seems to have been a very uh, hard-working week of pre-season training. Yeah, it has. It's been, uh, the lads have worked incredibly hard this week. Um, we've had a couple of double sessions chucked in as well, so uh, just good to try and test their mentality and see how they are. But they've all come through it great, and it's been a really good, solid week for us. The boys have had to work hard, as you said, and with the double sessions. How pleased are you with the attitude that they have shown? The attitude and commitment's been spot on. I wouldn't expect anything less. Um, wouldn't stand for anything less. Um, but they've been great. Uh, they've, like I said, they've worked hard, um, and now they're going to have a little bit of rest and recovery for this week, and then we hit it, hit it again next week. And we've confirmed a couple of pre-season friendlies, starting with Hitch in next Saturday, and then there's a trip to Dartford a couple of weeks later. Yeah. How important will those games be, getting minutes into the legs? Yeah, they're always important. I mean, it doesn't matter how much work you do on the training ground. When it comes to actually playing games, that's the most important part. Lads can get their proper timings and everything else like that. We will do some games 11 v 11 amongst ourselves before that, but obviously when it's competitive and stuff like that, that's when it all comes. It starts to become real again. A big question on the fans' lips will be... Uh, getting faces through the door just yep. give us an update on that uh, we're, we're close with a few yeah I mean like I said we're, it always takes a little bit of time um, obviously a lot of them have, have wanted to come in and see us and, and see what we've got to offer and things like that so but we're, we're pretty close on a couple and hopefully certainly after the weekend we'll have we'll have one or two in place if not maybe a little bit more uh, it's been a bit different for the boys who would have been here last season compared to this season with the map try list that we do yeah. have in how important is it that the boys do integrate well with the trialists to make them feel welcome? Well, that's it. I mean, the trialists are here to prove a point and they, that should be, they should be their focus is, is making sure they, they prove their point uh, to try and impress us to, to ask them to stay a bit longer. Uh, but yeah, I mean, the, the lads have, have, have brought them into the group and welcomed into the group at open arms and, and obviously they've trained all as a group really well. So they've all backed one another up in the running. So when, they've, when they need a little bit of a G up, the lads have given it to them. So like I said, so it's been, it's been a nice sort of atmosphere, a nice environment to work in this, this week. You've been joined now by your uh, long-standing assistant, Hereford, uh, Steve Jenkins. Just how important will he play a role in this season? Yeah, Steve plays a vital role. I mean, I, I, it's always important that you have, you know, when you have your partnerships, whether it be on the pitch or off the pitch, that you have someone there alongside you that you can trust, someone that you believe in. And someone that, that will question you as well. I mean, like I said, we've always been uh, a pair that, that work hard tirelessly on and off the pitch. Uh, but we've also, we've never agreed on everything. So, like I said, and that's always nice as well to get a different perspective and someone that's open to, to give that perspective. So, so, yeah, I mean, like I said, I'm delighted that he's on board. Um, and he's, like I said, he's, he's, he's a huge part of what we do and, and how we work. So, like I said, the lads have really taken to him this week in training. Um, and, it's, and like I said, things, it all bodes well for the future. Uh, fixtures obviously released on Tuesday always an exciting day in the fans calendar yeah is there any fixtures that you'll particularly look out for I think the first one I think always the first the first day of the season is always a vi- is vitally important I think that you, you know like I said sometimes it can it can sort of get your season up and running that first performance could be vitally important I mean, if things don't go particularly well we know we've got a full season to put it right so but obviously if we can get off to a good start so that first one's always important. So like I said, and, and again, whether it be home or away, then it, it makes no difference. It's the first one is, is, is sort of sets the, sets the bar for everybody else. And just lastly, of course, our friendly with Hitchin will be in front of spectators. Mm. So opportunity for some Bees fans to come out and uh, see what, how we're getting on. How much are you looking forward to meeting up with them? Oh, I think it's a, it's a great opportunity to, to finally get that sort of you know, that community feeling again of, of being all together and all part of it. Uh, the response I've had so far has been, has been immense. It's been, it's been very positive. Uh, and obviously I want to thank everybody for that. Um, but like I said, and it's, and it's about now being patient with us and, and I'm sure they're the same. They, they would just want to get back to watching football for real. Um, we want to get back to playing it and being involved in it for real. So, so it'll be nice to finally get to, to, uh, to see everybody and, and, and it'll be nice to, to, to have, a, have a day out with everyone.